Hi guys, VST here by SP Tech. This is my S21 Ultra. You already know it's running One UI 4, Android 12. If you're new to the channel, guys, please check some of my other videos. Yeah, in fact, you might like some and subscribe to the channel. But for my returning visitors, guys, S21 Ultra running One UI 4 and see here, guys. Boom, we got this and already on the software update. So I was just browsing today and we already got an update. So this thing is really brand new. Samsung managed to release this stable One UI 4 based on Android 12, like one month after the Google Pixel System 6 Pro Android 12, which I think is really crazy. So Samsung really doing a great job. Before that, they did something like 21 updates for the S21, the Plus and the Ultra since S21 series started, so it's really crazy. Right now here we get a new update with a security patch from the 1st of November. The version right now is G998BXXU3BUKG. I was not able to find any change log, guys. You always know what I say. Overall stability of functions improved. A software update can include, but it's not limited to device related improvements. And yeah, I'm not gonna read this, guys. I'm going to install it on my phone. I'm gonna see what are the Samsung stock apps were updated or not updated, I'm gonna run some Geekbench tests, some camera opening, apps opening, just try to see how this new firmware behaves. And again, if you like videos like this, you might want to consider subscribing for my channel. So let's just start the update in three, two, one. So here we are. This is indeed the latest version. Again, it comes with a security patch level from the 1st of November. And I am gonna hit right now the install now button. What will happen guys? download and then the firmware is gonna get installed. I do always recommend after a fresh install or just an update, use the Samsung Good Guardians to just optimize all of your applications. You can also go to a further extent, go inside the recovery and also delete the cache, which honestly I'm not doing right now because Samsung phones are already well optimized, minus the stutter sometimes. But those are the things that you can do to maintain your phone and make it run better. So while I'm just updating guys, take the time to subscribe for my channel. Make sure that you just find these videos. I'm gonna put link down here. So you find the video about the Good Gardens, which by the way is the new name for the Galaxy Labs and etc. Make sure you watch it and try to use those tools. You can adjust your thermals. You can also try to optimize your applications. There are really some very nice statistics for the battery and etc. All of those tools just come for free, guys. You don't need to root your phone. You don't need to mess up with your phone. Use some scripts, custom kernels. It's just why we love Samsung. But enough talking. Let's just now install the latest firmware and we're gonna be doing some testing. I have now installed the firmware and Samsung is now going to optimize all the applications. Phone is starting. So for the first time, guys, I am receiving a stable update to my S21 Ultra running the latest One UI 4 based on Android 12. May the last one please close the door. It's a famous saying we have in my country, but it is what it is. So here you can just see finishing system update. So I do recommend guys, don't do anything with your phone when you see this message now. Yeah, I'm just doing this for testing purposes. We're gonna go to software update and click here to download and install to just wait for the message, your phone has been updated. Software information, scrolling down, and we can just see we are running the Android security patch level from the 1st of November. By the way, this ROM has been built yesterday, which is here, guys, on the 30th of November. We are now the 1st of December, and you just get a message, and this was the message I was referring. Good Guardians experience slowdown after software update boost now, so you can click on this. If you don't have Good Guardians, guys, go and install it, download it even manually. If you just look for Good Guardians APK, you'll be able to find it, or just message me, ping me, leave me a comment, I'll help you. Once you're inside, guys, click the Galaxy App Booster, and then you can decide to either optimize all of your applications or optimize the applications that you have been using in the past 30 days. And you can just see here, guys, we have 600 applications, right? So yeah, it's just a lot because it also optimizes the system applications. I did not close anything on my phone, guys. You know, my reviews, I really try to stay as close as I can to the real thing, even for testing and for benchmarking, guys. What I wanna do right now, guys, I wanna do some version checking. So first thing I wanna check is here the home screen. 
about home screen we have the version 13.0.0.1.14. The previous version I was using on my phone was 13.0.0.1.9. So indeed guys, there is a new version of the launcher. So about home screen confirmed. This is the latest version. Now let's just try to see guys if we have something new. Home screen layout, the home grid, the up screen grid, the folder grid, add media page to home screen, show up screen on the home screen, lock home screen layout, adding new apps to the home screen, hiding applications, the app icon badges, swiping down for notification panel. It pretty much seems to be the same but maybe some bug fixes are introduced. Biometrics and security from my previous ROM, 6000 on the fingerprint, 2113 on the face recognition. I'm very eager to see if they try to improve on um, the security. So let's just go inside the settings, guys. We go to biometrics and security and we click on the more biometric settings, biometric and security patch, 6002113. So it is pretty much the same no changes here. The next thing I'm going to be checking is of course the Samsung browser. All right, so let's just see what we have here, guys. I'm going to go under settings and just scroll down to about Samsung internet. The version right now is 16.02.19. Let me just check what was the version I was using just before the update. It was the same version, so 16.02.19. And now probably the most important thing, the previous version of the camera, 12.00.83. Now let's go inside the camera, guys. And yep, we see here the toggle. Let's read coming from Android 12. Going here to about camera, 12.00.83. 083, so it is pretty much the same version. So apparently just some bug fixes guys. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna close all of those applications and I'm gonna do a gig bench test. As you can see, the phone is already running 38, 39 degrees, which is about, I think the regular temperature for the Exynos 2100. Gig bench here guys, you know that I am able to get results I want. If I put this baby in the fridge just for 20 minutes and get some better operating temperatures, you know, I'm going to crank up the results. But again, these videos that I made really are about fair use. So I'm just going to run the CPU benchmark. And I guarantee guys, if you are using this phone, like I do as a daily driver, because I use my pixel and this one at the same time, and you just have it out of your pocket and you just install the new ROM and you just run Geekbench, then most probably guys, you're going to get about the same results. And I know they are not going to be perfect because I can do all the tricks. I can clear all the cache, I can try to optimize my application and put the phone in the fridge, you know, just for the video, but I don't want to do this, guys. I want that my reviews are really honest and I want that my reviews are really trustworthy. So I, I want to guarantee that, you know, if you want to buy this phone, they pretty much know what to expect. This is the whole idea why I'm doing this. Okay, so let's see how much we're going to score. We're now very close to getting the results. I'm really hyped, guys, and yeah, expected, I told you. Single core score, 511. We know that this device can get about like 1000. And the multi-core score is 2174. If we go here to the single core score, you see that this is kind of like the average, but I told you, given the fact that I've just updated my phone, I've been using it all day, it is pretty normal, at least for my phone. I wanna be completely honest and transparent with you guys. The average really is 294. If I put it to cool down in the fridge, I know I can even beat that one. And the multi-core score is about 3000, so you can just see my performance seems to be kind of throttling. I don't see this being a problem at all. I explained the reasons why it happens. But guys, let's try to do some apps opening, apps closing to see how well they work in this new update. And before we actually do the apps opening closing, I wanna go to my so-called favorite widget page and try to see how the widget opening and closing perform. Okay. Closing weather opening. Let's start with the calendar. I would say it's pretty, pretty flawless. Very smooth, by the way. Okay, let's go back. Let's continue with the alarm with the clock. Okay, yep, all very nice. Let's free some of the memory with using this special device care widget, okay. Yep, memory free. Now let's open Spotify. All right, Spotify open, Spotify close, open. By the way, probably the top or the best opening and closing animation from a widget. Let's now check my Telegram widget. It goes straight to my channel for which you, by the way, can subscribe, Valence Speaks Tech. The link is gonna be into the video description. I put there all my new videos and etc. So honestly, 
the widget opening closing performs quite okay. I'm now going to close all again and we're gonna go on the home screen and try to open some of the application. So let's just first start with the camera. Okay, camera opening. I'm just going to put it here for the front camera so that you can see camera opening and closing. All right, not so bad guys. Okay, now let me just go to video. Okay, more. Okay, video, photo, portrait, night, single take, night, portrait, okay, photo. Let me just go out. So I'm gonna close it, opening again, closing, opening, closing, opening. So guys, do we have the feeling that Samsung finally fixed the camera opening and closing animation? I think so. Let's try to do some photos. All right, you see, it's very snappy. Okay, opening, closing. No status at all, by the way, this is really impressive, I think, for Samsung. Okay, now let's go to gallery. Opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening. Gonna go to screenshots, opening, closing. All right, again, open camera. Okay, now let's go and open Play Store, opening. Okay, yep, closing, opening, closing. Let's open also the Galaxy Store. All right, Galaxy Store. The first time you open it, it will of course take some time, but right now I would say quite flawless, by the way. All right, let's just now open some of the Google services. Let's open Google, okay, cool. Same here, right? We have this micro startup, but then I think it's all good. Now let's just see here, okay? The first time the animation pops out, there is this start, and I can tell you guys, it's very annoying. But the second time, I think it get it right. And I know a lot of you are telling me, hey, why don't you cut off the animation, etc.? Why? I just want to have this. I mean, I also told in my last video where I was comparing the stock Android 12 animations to the One UI 4 that Samsung is giving you all the bells and whistles. See here, guys, I'm going to open the folder and we're going to get this very beautiful background blur. So opening folder, opening Telegram, quite nice. Let me just try to now go into the recent menu. Now let's open the up drawer. Up drawer, okay, no lag at all. Up drawer, okay. Yep, let me just try to scroll down. Let me just go between the screens and here, let me just try to go again to the home settings. Home settings, first time, first animation laggy, second animation a bit better. Okay, let's try the second animation. All right, guys, let's start some games. I'm gonna open the Roblox in the vertical mode, see how it will behave. Okay, loading. Okay, all the games now listed here. All right, no problem at all. I'm just going to close it right now and I'm gonna go into the landscape mode to try to open Roblox again. Yeah, Roblox doesn't support it, but I know that some of you guys wanted to see this animation. So I'm just gonna show this one more time, guys. What happens if you launch a game like Roblox and you wanna check the animation, this is gonna be the animation. Opening it and boom, now the screen is going to automatically rotate. I can also open a Zuba game. The Zuba game will work in this mode. So let me just do like this, guys. I'm gonna open Zuba, all right, see? It will start directly into this mode. Let's open the camera again, opening the camera, closing the camera, opening the camera, closing. I really have the feeling that Samsung finally, finally managed to get rid of the camera opening and closing. So I'm gonna open the camera again and now use this little hint here to just cycle through all the applications. And as you can see, guys, it is very, very, very smooth. So you know that Samsung have been plagued with Lux for the home screen and you also know that I share the opinion that it's not acceptable to pay this top amount of money for the phone and this is probably still the best phone for this year for me guys. The S21 Ultra is really the best phone and it's not acceptable that we have this lux. Let's just demonstrate. I'm just gonna go here, see? Right, this time it got it correct. Sometimes the first time you do a new gesture and animation, it will lock, but then it will become quite nice. And I think it's just really something smaller. Samsung needs to work a bit better to optimize their things. And guys, I really hope that you like videos like this. If that's the case, don't forget to really like the video. Please also take your time and subscribe for my channel, guys. Really deeply appreciate it. Please also you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of the next episodes, guys. With that said, Oh. And bye.